Hello and welcome back. Uh, starting from where we left off in our previous video, we're going to be discussing fill. Fill has four categories. If we choose none under this drop down menu, you'll see that the fill goes completely away. And if there was an object behind this, that object would now bleed through this um, other object. If we were to choose solid, which we had initially, it's just a solid color. You can change that similarly how you change the outline. For example, I can just change this to red. Now I'll change it back to white. And of course, you can use the color picker similarly to how you use the color picker and the outline. The next thing down is gradient. Now, gradient is... Uh, really nice tool. It gives it a nice three-dimensional effect. I'll go ahead and I'll turn off the outline as well just so we can pay attention more to the to the fill and to the gradient. So you'll notice that when I turn gradient on this other widget has now popped up. It's it's green and what I'll also do is just so we can move in a little closer I will um, go ahead and select this scene area and press my spacebar which will expand my window and you can go back just by pressing spacebar again so I'll just press spacebar select our object now you have an easier time seeing this widget so this green widget uh, is made up of pretty much two parts this outside circle and then the, there's a smaller inside circle so the outside circle basically affects how smooth the transition is between the two colors of your gradient. Right now, what we'll do is we'll quickly go back and I'll just change this uh, gradient color, the first color, to maybe something more of a yellow. And the second color we'll leave as blue. So I'll go back here, select the object again. So this is affecting how smooth that transition between the two colors are. What you'll want to do is when you're creating an object and you're using a gradient, you'll want to make sure that this outside circle encompasses your object. So it, it to make sure that that tra transition is nice and smooth, always make sure that this outside circle is larger than the object. Else you'll start having some, some breakdown, uh, uh, start having some artifacts. Now this inner circle basically is not the the second color it again it's it's not this blue not the 100% of this blue what it is is it's the 50% mark basically where the first color and the second color transition between each other. So if I were to move this center point here all the way over here, you'll notice now then the object is completely blue. And if I move it all the way over to this side, you'll need to see that the object is now completely yellow. So just remember that this center point is not the, the complete a full color of that second second color it's it's the middle point between the first color and the second color and you can move this around uh, you can change the angle for example um, so where this uh, first color exists on this object and how you would use this or one technique on how you would use this is let's say you had another blob here or another object like you had a sun we'll just say this is the sun I'll quickly make it yellow here and this sun is shooting out light and the light that's coming out of it here in, in our case is yellow. And I now have a gradient that kind of gives that impression that, you know, this light is coming off of this and glowing onto this. So there's a lot of effects that you can do very simply uh, just by thinking, thinking your scene through and your objects through. So that's uh, how gradient works. Now, if we just quickly look at what else we need to cover under the fill. Okay, the last thing is landscape and what we're going to do is we're going to again wait on landscape uh, the, and we're going to cover landscape and the 
free from the outline together because they work well to, uh, with each other. Yes, you can use them separately, of course, but I'll uh, basically have a separate tutorial that will be discussing both of those. So that's pretty much all there, uh, that we have to worry about for the fill, and in the next video, we'll move on to the emboss.